My name is Ophelia Esparza from East Los Angeles, California. And I am an NEA, a National Heritage Fellow. My mother was known in the neighborhood for her flower making, her cooking, and for her altars. She had a little altar all the time with photographs and a couple of santos. But for Day of the Dead, she would embellish them with flowers from our garden. She passed this on to me, and it was her own spirit, her own passion for her traditions that I was so influenced by, and continue to be influenced by. Dia de los Muertos is a traditional celebration honoring the dead, remembering those who have passed in our families, celebrating their life, and we prepare an altar, an ofrenda, with flowers, candles, food, incense, and of course their photograph. The Other Los Muertos takes place the 1st and 2nd of November. It is celebrated throughout Latin America. My tradition comes from Mexico, where my mother is from. I started doing altars publicly at Self Help Graphics. Sister Karen was one of the founders, and she was an incredible, strong woman. And so she brought me into self graphics for the Day of the Dead workshops, and eventually I began making altars there. I have nine children, and they've all been involved in the altar-making process with me, some with the construction, some with making flowers, some with the installation. And today, some of them are even more involved in the creative process. And my grandchildren have participated mostly in the flower making. It's been a family endeavor. We're making something that's traditional for our family. For us, that tradition is to create something. This is an offering. You're really putting your hands into it. And when you're making the flowers, we're talking about my grandmother, we're talking about my dad, my, my tío, Mama Pola, what she used to cook. So there's this oral tradition that's passed on while we're creating these pieces that go on the altar. In the early 70s, Day of the Dead was something that Sister Karen wanted to bring into the self-help graphics work. It is a reclaiming of our identity. What my mother would say is that we all suffer three deaths, and that the first death is the day that we give our last breath, the day that we die. Our second death is the day that we are buried, never to be seen on the face of the earth again. But the most final and dreaded death of all is to be forgotten. That's the essence of my practice of doing Day of the Dead. It's such a universal thing that we share this remembering, having loved ones who have passed, and then teaching the next generation about them. And as long as one person remembers, they live not only in our hearts, but in our memory. It makes my heart so happy that Ophelia Sparza received the award because she's someone that we've worked with for about our 20 years of history at the Alliance for California Traditional Arts for more people on a national scale to learn about the Dia de los Muertos as practiced by Doña Ophelia in her community of East LA. It's like coming to the source. She's a first generation Mexican American, reflecting her surroundings, and she's making something new. I love this process. That's the creative process of creating the altars, and also the satisfaction of saying, okay, we're honoring this person or these things as best we could. I like to have lots of things in it, but in the end, that it looks like they belong together, even though they look all scattered. In the altar at the Natural History Museum, there's many vignettes, and they could all stand alone as a little altar, but when you put them all together, they tell a story. She's definitely a respected elder. People see her as a healer. She actually has a gift of helping you find your own path. She really is a treasure. Receiving the National Heritage Fellowship from the National Endowment of the Arts is such a great honor. Not only for me, but for my family and my community, especially honoring my culture and its contributions.